We're going to start out with a white matte eyeshadow. Um, I'm using La Femme right now. I don't know if you can read that, La Femme, um, in white. You're going to take a big fluffy brush, get some on the brush, and go from lid to brow bone with it. Just put it all over. And then, after that, I'm still going to take my big fluffy brush and the white. Get just a little bit on your brush and put it underneath. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> then I'm going to take my Coastal Sense palette and um, crease brush. And I'm going to take... This thing's always getting dusty. Which one did I take? I'm going to take this one. Second from the top. It's like a sort of sky blue color. I'm going to take some of that and I'm going to put it in the outer um, outer crease and outer third. Sorry, this is just not good to do a tutorial when it's this cold. I mean, I'm in California, but still. <laughs> I know my definition of cold isn't really your definition of cold. Other people who are out there who are in the snow right now, but I'm freezing. I don't have a heater at my house. I'm just like dying, so yeah, I'm a wuss. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to take that same brush, and as you can see, I started to kind of go under. You're going to take a little bit more of the eyeshadow and place it a little bit under, underneath. And just blend it. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit more. Okay, then I'm going to take Coastal Sense Color. This, uh, which, God, I always forget. <laughs> it was this green at the top there. Sort of a blue green. And put just a little bit in the crease. And then blend it. The only problem with doing white eyeshadows like this is like you see how my eye is watering. And then it just totally comes off. That's the only problem with it. So... I don't really know how to prevent that because I put on um, my primer and it still does it, it still runs. So hopefully this will come out okay. Sorry guys. Now I'm going to take a small shadow brush, take that same greenish color and put it underneath. And I'm going to put it all the way across. know I should be doing a tutorial right now. Alright, then I'm going to take the black in the bottom right corner and just a tiny bit because you don't want it like black. I don't have a gray. If you have like a dark gray that would probably be better than black. Um, unless you want it a little bit more dramatic on the lashes. And you just line really close to the lash line across your top lashes. And I'm only going to about here with it because um, I want it more to just pop on the lash line than look dramatic. Okay. Well, it's like all coming off over here. If you don't have watery eyes, do this look. <laughs> okay. I can fix it. Jeez. I'm going to put a little bit more of that blue. That first color we used. 
right there to cover up my mess in there okay still taking that black and lining across the bottom but doing really tiny little strokes and being really light with it so you don't want it to come out dramatic and I'm just going to about the middle and I didn't do it on this one so I'm going to do that I wasn't doing anything with the bottom because I wanted to uh, do the tutorial and then fix it <laughs> so that by the end it wouldn't be totally messed up but I think it's going to be messed up anyways um yeah so do the black and then what I do to kind of make it pop a little bit is I'm going to take this True Colors um I don't know the name of the color um but it's this creamy kind of eggshell color it's like an off-white color and it has um, iridescent blue in it, which looks really pretty. And I'm just going to take a tiny bit on the brush and put it in the corner there. Okay, after that's done, uh, what I'm going to do is put mascara on my top and bottom lashes. And I'll show you what I do with my bottom lashes to make them kind of pop. Um, instead of just putting them on the regular way, um, I put them on a different way. Uh, or the mascara, I put it on a different way, so I'll show you that when I come back. Okay, I did my mascara on this eye, and um, I did my bottom lashes on this one. And what I do to get more of like a, sort of a more dramatic, um, more defined uh, bottom lashes, is I'm taking Lash Discovery. I really like this because it's tiny little brush. See? Tiny. Um... So what I do is I take it and I just kind of swipe it, the excess, off so I won't get any kind of clumps or anything. And then I get the, the tip and sort of do this. And then what I do is instead of doing it this way on the bottom, I'm going to do it this way on the bottom. And what you do is really carefully just sweep it across the lashes like this and it coats them and then I sort of bring them down like each lash and sort of separate them and kind of put them where I want them See? I'm taking my La Femme uh, blush it's this sort of um, mauve peachy color sort of a yeah peachy color and what I like to do for these like frosty looks is do more of a flush instead of just the blush. I like to do a flush instead of blush. Oh, no. <laughs> um, what you do to do a flush is you bring it up a little bit, but you also bring it down. I'm getting a little fallout. You also bring it down so it looks like you've been huh, like running or something. <laughs> like that. Huh. That sounded bad. I take some, uh, just some lip gloss. This is like a frosty pink from Victoria's Secret. Um, sort of like a bubblegum pink. They don't have the name of it on the tube, which I think is really retarded. But, just a nice frosty color on there. And I just gotta do my other eyebrow and I'm done. So I hope you like the, the look. Sorry about the watery eyes, but, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Bye. You got something for me.